Stanley? Hello? Is everything okay? All right, so Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. That's what it says on my Steam page here, as you can see. Um, yeah, I played the first one, not but like a year ago on this channel, and then bam, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I Honestly, I should have seen this coming because they've been like planning this Ultra Deluxe thing forever. I just thought, you know, it would be forever until it came out. But no, here we are, and I'm excited to play it. I'm excited for you to ex uh, enjoy it with me. Unlike the first one, I'd already kind of seen a little bit of content on the first one before I played it. This one's going to be a brand new experience. I, I know nothing about this game other than one thing. I've heard that there is a hole, apparently, somewhere. I don't know what the context of the hole is. Apparently, there's a hole. That's all I know. All right? So, the reason I am start usually whenever I, I do these intros, I'm on the game page, right? I'm not on the game page here. As you can see, I'm on a Steam page. Well, the reason for that is... I have a lot, like, I've, I've been testing to make sure that my audio is correct, so I keep on uh, booting up the game, turning the game off, booting the game up, turning it off, and I've done it three times now, and every time it's done it, it's been like, oh, can you tell me what the time is? Set the time. So I set the time once, nothing happened, you know, I just set the time, shut the game down, boot it up again, set the time again, and then the game was like, oh, you actually set the, the time, like, most people don't set the time. So I was like, oh, well, aren't I special? So then the game was like, okay, next time you set the time, um, like, you can set it to whatever time you want. Like, that time, it can just be the, whatever your favorite time is, okay? So I'm like, oh, thank you so much. So then I do a little more testing to make sure the audio is correct, boot it up again. So it's the third time. Third time, the game's like, okay, so, you know, what's your favorite time? And so I say, oh, my favorite time is the time it was right then. So to give you a little context, this was just four minutes ago. So I set 7.03, right? Well, I was in such a rush that I accidentally set 7.03 a.m. I was trying to be p.m. because I'm trying to be accurate every time. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I set like 12 hour difference. I'm so stupid. And then the game is, you know, like, oh, how accurate is this to the, the actual time? And I'm like literally as inaccurate as physically possible because I'm stupid. So I set the, there popped up a slider. And so I, sl I did the slider all the way to the left of super not accurate. Or I guess this is backwards. So all the way over here to non accurate. And then it was like, okay, next time I'm just going to give you a bunch of sliders. So this is that next time we're going to experience that together. Apparently there's going to be a bunch of sliders and I think that's going to be fun. So let's start with that. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Let's begin. Ah, it's nice to be back. Nice to be back playing this game. Okay. I did this one already, so the computer is barely visible. Please just a slider until the dog and cat are friends. Okay. <gasps> oh, they're so they're friends. Okay, that one works. Please just a slider until the number five becomes the number nine. Okay. Oh. What's it? The number nine. So I guess it would be this one because that's a number. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Okay, so I can just I can just adjust it as much as I want. All right, well we can talk while I'm adjusting. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time here. Um, what am I expecting from this game? So this is the ultra deluxe. This is the ultimate experience for Stanley Parable. What am I expecting? I'm expecting more of the same like subverting your expectations, different past, multiple endings, stuff. But to be honest, I kind of want more than that. I don't I don't know what more I want. But there needs to be something in this game that's like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like makes me really want to play it. Not just like more of the subverting expectation stuff, but like you know, just more, just like different variety. That's what I, that's what I want. So, all right, I've stopped adjusting the slider. Which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? Akuboinkle, so Akuboinkle, or Scrumtush? 
I kind of like Occuboinkle, but I kind of like Scrum Touch a little bit, so I'm gonna go like, like here. Please don't adjust the slider. Okay, bro, okay. Do you know what time it is right now? Yep, I can see it. I have two monitors and it says 7, 11 p.m. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? I would, I would think so. What time is it anyway? Uh, it's 7, 11 p.m. Um, the minute has not passed yet. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yes, so much. So much about myself. Just, just help. Help. Uh, hmm. I mean, if someone was asking for my help, I would help them. So, yes. Help. I will help you. Will you come back to visit me? For sure. I expect this to be a multi-part thing. I'm probably not going to be able to play this game in one sitting. So, yeah, I'll come back to visit you. Well, there we go. I got to play a little game within the game. So that's cool. All right. Now the actual game starts. Begin the game. Stanley Parable, Ultra Deluxe. So, one thing I will say. I know this has been a long intro, I guess. That was kind of the game, though. We've kind of already started the game. Uh, at the beginning, like while I was doing like the tinkering with stuff, uh, one of the questions it asked me was, have you played the Stanley Parable before? Obviously, yes, I have played the Stanley Parable before, because you all know I played it on the channel. So... If there's anything that's like, oh, you've played the game before, that's just the reason why. So, we'll begin. The end is never the end. I remember this quite well. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Mm -hmm. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through like a me. monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, Perhaps and in what order. The this is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Mm -hmm. Stanley was happy. Except for all the times that he wasn't happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. And this is where we start. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh -huh. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Hello. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so this intro is... You can check this with the first playthrough I have of this, but it looks pretty identical. I know something happens if you just stay in still, you know, at the very beginning and don't do anything, in the first game at least. But we're not going to be boring. Let's actually, you know, play the game. Um... So, we have crouch. There's no jump. Was there a jump in the first game? I feel like... Maybe you couldn't jump. I, th I thought you could... Or am I just walking through the chair? Okay, cool. The game feels more... You know, I'm just gonna stop trying to compare this to the first game. I just don't remember. It's been a while. But... I will... I, I'll stop comparing it to the first game by saying I don't remember or not. I'll just say what I do know or what I don't know. Okay. Let's go for it. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? So maybe... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So we should probably just follow the directions, I guess, and, like, see if we can get something different by following the directions. Let's try to do the achievement first. 
Oh, please. Yeah, I'm doing Are you really just doing this for the achievement? I want to see if you'll still Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. We gotta get that achievement. A measly five clicks. We have to. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Oh, we're gonna get it. We're mm. gonna get it. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. You don't think so? Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 I'm going for it. I'm going for 50 clicks. It's a lot of clicks, but I think it's worth it. On this door? Yeah. No, no, I'm still, I'm still not still feeling not it. it? Okay. I want this achievement to have meant maybe something. Go, it has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Four seventeen. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? It makes sense to me, man. 417, that's what I'm believing. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. Where's door 437, then? What? Oh, here it is. Okay. Excellent! I think we're oh, getting somewhere. Stupid. Now, okay. door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Okay, okay. 415. Sorry about that, guys. I, I just did not have my Mickey Mouse listening ears on. Alright, 415. I listened that time. Now, back to door number 437. I'm hustling. I'm hustling. I can't sprint, so this is as fast as I'm going. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. Okay, I'm clicking. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Me too, me too. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Okay, I got it. We can still, okay. Yep. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Okay. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Okay, 416. I'm gonna find it. It's probably this way, right? I'm assuming 416 would be this way. Yep. We've almost got it! We're so close. Now the copy machine, do that one again! Okay, copy machine. I'm heading towards it. I've passed that place twice now. There's a. Is it like a visual glitch? Am I crazy? Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! One, two, three, four, five! Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Okay. Oh, yeah. you I really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, Nothing. I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth How five wrong I was. Really, now? What were you thinking? All right, so... You know, I, I'd be curious to know if they got... So the voice actor that does the narration... Super good, by the way. Super good. I wonder if they got that guy to do all of his voiceover stuff again, or if they just When Stanley came it. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So I think maybe we're going to find new stuff. Maybe just follow the instructions. All right, I'll do that. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief... Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Hold on. I do not remember there being a hole in this desk in the first game. I could be wrong about that. I could just be crazy. But I don't think there was a hole. Where's that glass? I don't think there was glass either. This is the Sam. I remember this. I remember I talked about this in the first playthrough. Hmm. There is a, there is a possibility that this is all just crazy. So uh, there's something in the broom closet. That we're just gonna pass by that. Well, I mean the broom closet looks the same, so we're just gonna pass it for now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, upstairs to the boss's office. Going in here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any this is human new. life. This was Shocked, not here before. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? 
What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Okay, a lot but of... of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. There was... Was there a piano last time? I feel like there wasn't a piano. And also, I don't think there were those bottles there before. Feels... Stanley just sat around okay, twiddling okay, his okay, thumbs. I'll, I'll press the buttons. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know oh, I... that the combination was 2845. 2845. I'm a great listener, by the way. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code oh. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, okay. Newly opened passageway. I wish there's a flashlight. Alright. Going down. Going down. The end is never the end is never the end. Except for loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. peculiar? It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I hope not, because I'm, I'm burning with questions. I am just burning. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. So we're going to, we're just going to go. Go. All right. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Mm -hmm. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't know, man. Do you have the strength? I wonder if I could just fall. No, I don't want to do that. Do I have the strength? The moral, the moral fortitude to find out. Now the monitors jumped to life, their Fire. true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Uh -oh. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nothing? Freedom means nothing? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe or, it couldn't be true. Or it can't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Highly unlikely. Was this the only reason he no. was happy with his boring job? No, I'm that sure That his Stanley emotions loves had been job. manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. I he refuse. couldn't accept I it. I can't accept it. His own it. life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Unthinkable. Wasn't it? Unfathomable. Was it even possible? It's not possible. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No. No. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So we'll turn it off. So then it should open up the world. You know, the, the, the world to me. Like it'll, it'll slowly rise, Blackness. Right? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. Yep, he had won. I have won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Moments away? And yet... Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Where'd they go? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? 
What Where's other the mysteries did this strange building hold? Uh, but as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he like realized robots, none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power there's that he had been seeking, point. but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to That's know. All I need. That's it all was I need. perhaps the only thing worth knowing. True that, bro. Stanley True stepped that. through the open door. This looks maybe different. I don't know. Could be. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly look the those, way, look at those rocks. right now, so that beautifully things rendered. were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I was happy. And blinded by a flashbang. Beat the end. The end. It's never the end, guys. Alright, so yeah. That is the first game. Playthrough. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley um, decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, so that was the same. Food recap, I guess. Um, why don't... You can't just do that to me. You can't just do that to me. Hold on. Hold on a second. All right, guys. All right, gamers. All right, gamers. Do we trust it, or do we look a little further? I mean, it looks like it's just the doors. I guess we go to the new content. Oh, new content. I would love some new What does content. that mean, new content? I don't know. What does it mean? Tell me. All right. Keep your eyes out for shenanigans, boys. We gotta, we gotta look for shenanigans. Multiple choices. Means of breaking the system. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a okay. reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Right, reimagining, that's some big some big shoes to fill. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. I mean, that's what I'm looking for here, so go for it, man. Show me what you got. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. See there's anything behind us. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I mean, it looks like the track goes further. Do you think maybe if we stand here for a second, it'll take us a little further? You know? Go. No? Okay. It was worth a shot. Just, you know, looking out for secrets. I need secrets. Secrets. Alright, we'll just go. I mean, doesn't. Yeah, I guess we'll just go. Go for it. New content. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, so I'm but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing uh -oh. adventure. Oh no, hold on. He's 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 planting seeds of doubt in my mind. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we, should we be moving somewhere? Or, or? I would oh, think. There we oh, go. Okay, here we All go. All right. Finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. It's a nice open. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. Yeah. It's as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Okay. Yep. I'm going for it. All right. All right. Let's the see. The jump it's... circle. The jump circle. I can't jump. <gasps> I can jump. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, this is big, guys. This is actually big. Hold on. I'm able to jump and walk in a circle. This is this is really good. Can I jump outside the circle? No, I can only jump in the circle. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. No. Did I fail? How, how do you fail jumping? How does that work? I did it. I jumped. Alright. Peering around. Alright. Jump circle. It was cool while it lasted. It's... Is that it? Yeah, I mean, it's really good. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I, I don't know. So, yeah, no. Goodness. Another elevator. I Stanley, would... I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's I'm... just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If we're playing... If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's exactly. 20 hours of new content right there. Honestly? Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. I'm gonna mean yes. it. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, narrator, I could listen to you talk for hours. That's all the new content I need. Alright, office environment. You know what? They want people to overanalyze this. They know that if you bought the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, you're going to be overanalyzing. So maybe sometimes I should just focus on the gameplay. Thank you for enjoying That's the new it? content. Okay, oh, you've so got to be kidding to me. You see, Stanley? Not, this is what happens right when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. They and don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into this? it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality is... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bro. I actually... Okay. He's right. I mean, love him or hate him, he's right. The insurance department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended. And I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally if I accountable. If I used Twitter, <sighs> I would it's do that. It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm uh -oh. afraid. It Steve could Meta. never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset no. the game? And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Gimmicks? Just you never. and me having a great time together like always. No, I believe... What do you say, friend? Okay. No choice. We're doing it. Ooh, stuff ain't looking too good. And when I say that, I mean beautiful. So is that? Yeah, that's where I would usually enter, right? Okay, we're looking, we're looking pretty different now, my man. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Psst, Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay, so we're getting the two choices. <sighs> okay, hold on. My mouse battery is like dying here, but hopefully it doesn't. What does it say? Sunset. Guys, we got it. We can't. We can't listen to this guy. We can't listen to this guy. We got to go. I like, I like, whoa, I like, I, I like, whoa, I just like hats, my boss. I can't, I can't read that, hold on. What if I, no, it's too far down, okay. Yeah, we can't listen to that guy, we gotta do what we want. Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine, you're a dork anyway, so who cares? Oh, okay. You called me a dork? That's the last straw. We're oh, going in here. Never mind. You're not a dork. I'm not a dork. I'm not a dork. Call me a dork. Call me. Okay. 
Nobody calls me a dork and gets away with it. Okay. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? I mean, well, it, it was got all me right. thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Yeah, so I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I mean, this looks pretty cool. 